So day four of my videos for Spina Bifida Awareness Week. And I thought what I would do is actually show you some of the problems which I have. I've talked about them in the video yesterday, about the kind of problems I get in my back and my foot. And I actually wanted to show you the changes which I've got from a, my club foot and also from my spinal bifida and how it affects my lower limbs. So I hope you don't mind looking at feet because you're gonna get a little bit of video of my dodgy foot coming up. Sorry. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have my two feet. And obviously you have my left foot and you have my right foot. And you can see, I'm in a sitting position at the moment. You can see how different they are in terms of position, how different they are in terms of shape and how different they are, I suppose, in terms of size as well. And if I put the two together, you can see, if I do that, you can see that there is a difference in size. There's also a difference in the, the kind of relative widths and sizes of my lower limbs as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stand up and show you what they look like when I've got more weight going through them as well. I mean, you can see a difference straight away that one is more pointed out than the other, but let me come up. There we go. You can see the difference there. Now, instantly what I'll do is I'll come down quite low here and show you. You can see just how the arch of that foot is fairly flat to the ground. And you can also see, if I just point here, a little bit of bulging of that sort of fat pad around the first metatarsal phalangeal joint there too. So you can see how different those feet are. So let's have a look at them up on the couch. So this is my foot uh, without any weight going through it. This is on the couch. And I think one of the first things you can see is here where I've got some clawing of the toes. And you can see because of the clawing of the toes, I get, and they're quite fixed, I get, they won't move too well, they're in that nice fixed position. But you've got some bowstringing here of the extensor tendons which pull the foot up. Now that's partly because of the changes to the nerves in my back, the change in the shape of my foot, the, the surgery I had to change the muscles around, but also it's because I have what's called an Aquinas foot. So my, my forefoot sits lower than my rear foot, and that means that when I'm walking, these muscles have to work really, really hard to stop me scraping the front of my foot on the ground. You can see as well where we get that poor second toe which gets bruised quite often and we also get some hard skin on the end here which can be quite uncomfortable and actually there's a few red dots in there which suggests it's quite a high pressure area which I, I know it is as well. Now if we move across to the underside of the foot here, just make sure you move that paper out of the way there, you've got an area around the front here underneath the second metatarsal which is where I had my first ulcerations, my first and second ulcerations. I don't get too much pressure there now, although the hard skin does build up. I also get pressure across the first metatarsal here. Now, even getting my foot into this position is a little bit uncomfortable, um, but you can see where the different areas of pressure tend to, tend to form. Now, that's a risk to me because I've got a reduction in sensation. It means that when I do get high pressure here, I may not have felt it. I may not have had that warning which then tells me that some damage is going on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and get a little bit of video of the scars on my feet as well, so you can hopefully you can see them. So just on the front here, you can actually see one of the scars from where I had surgery. The other ones have faded a bit now over those years. And you can see very clearly when I take my foot and I contract the muscles which are both stringing across there, you can see that both stringing quite clearly, you get foot which goes and turns out a little bit. So you can see quite clearly from my foot just how the spina bifida and the club foot has affected me personally. Now, I don't see a huge amount of people with spina bifida and club foot in clinic, so I can't tell you whether what I have is, is the same as other people. I can tell you that it's normal for me, and I can tell you that I get some challenges in terms of hard skin buildup, and I get some challenges in terms of foot pain and, and walking. And one particular challenge for me is actually finding shoes because my, my feet are two different sizes. But I still find it really interesting because I learn every day a little bit more about my spina bifida and my club foot and the effects upon me. And I think it puts me in a really good position to be able to help people with their feet as well. So I hope you've, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed looking at my feet. Um, if you've got any questions, any comments, as always, pop them below and I'll be back tomorrow for another video in day five. See you later. Bye bye.